I'm Dr. Susan Harvey, Vice President of Worldwide Medical Affairs at Hologic. I am so fortunate to be involved in the Hologic Global Women's Health Index. About three years ago, our CEO, Steve McMillan, asked the question, what are we doing for women's health globally? And as everyone went to look for data, what we found is there was no measurement. And what you don't measure, you can't change or improve. Data is critical to good decision making. The Hologic Global Women's Health Index is one of the largest and one of the most comprehensive women's healthcare data sets in the world. We were able to put together a series of questions. We asked both men and women in 122 countries to understand what are the problems and how do we convene groups to solve those problems and champion the actions. It is from the perspective and experiences of women and therefore it's unique and can be used to supplement more standard data sets. This data can be used in academic settings. It can be used by other organizations to implement care models and it can be used as a guide for policymakers and government leaders to take action to improve women's health. The data from the Hologic Global Women's Health Index is sobering data. The highest score of any country was 70 out of 100. Every single country has work to do. Hologic is committed to tracking this data over the coming years to demonstrate what we're measuring we can improve. We cannot separate women's health from the circumstances in which women live. And when we analyze the data, what we identified were five dimensions of health, which covered a broad range of health issues. One of the dramatic findings is that we have found a correlation with going to a healthcare professional, extending a woman's life up to two years. Now this is really quite incredible. And it does involve the interaction of all five of those dimensions. So I'll give a specific example. Basic needs, food and housing, is one of the dimensions. If a woman doesn't have food and housing for herself and her family, Healthcare is not a priority. Preventive care isn't a priority. Getting food on the table is a priority. If those basic needs aren't met, then we can't expect that women will go to see a healthcare professional. And what we know we've learned is that women to live well and live longer need us to detect deadly diseases early, have access to education, and be safe in their homes and communities. In the United States, we spend a lot of money on healthcare, almost twice as much as other high-income countries. Yet our life expectancy is lower than many of those countries. As we look at the United States score in the overall ranking of the Hologic Global Women's Health Index, we sit at 23 out of 122. The reason the Hologic Global Women's Health Index is so important to me is that I'm living with stage four lung cancer and there was no opportunity for screening or early detection. And while preventive care has improved in the United States between 2020 and 2021, there is a lot of work to do. We're still not screening for cancer, blood pressure, diabetes, or sexually transmitted infections and diseases at rates which we would like to see. So many diseases for both men and women can be detected early and effectively treated and often cured. So preventive care is the key to higher quality and longer lives. So what is the call to action? Of course, there's policy and government calls to action, but as an individual woman, what can you do? It's very important for women to advocate for themselves. 
I would ask that women inform themselves about risks and benefits of preventive care. I would also say, as you reflect on this for yourself, share it with your friends, share it with your family, find out what resources are in your community, and to think about others who are in your community but have less advantage. Motivate yourself and others. We have to be active.